Hey everybody, welcome to week one of the school quarantine. As you can see, there's no one here. You are all are at home. So this week, I think what's important for me to talk about is how to do learning while you're stuck at home. So for today's video topic, I'm gonna to be explaining two things. First thing I'm gonna be going over is how to navigate Google Classroom. I feel like we as teachers got you onto Google Classroom, but that didn't explain it all too much. So today, one of the major topics I'm gonna be focusing on is how to be successful working with Google Classroom. Second thing that we're gonna be going over is Google Docs. So uh, you, one of your major assignments this week is going to use Google Docs. Some of you have already been successful with the assignment, but I wanna make sure everybody knows how to work with Google Docs so that you can uh, complete the assignment and score yourself 100%. So today, the topics we're going over one, Google Classroom, two, Google Docs. I'm gonna be recording my screen when I get inside so that what you see in this video is gonna be very similar to what you have access to on Google Classroom. So without further ado, let's get going. Hey students, this is a Google Classroom homepage. You should be used to this by now. What I'm going to do in this video is first I'm going to walk you through the basics of Google Classroom and then I'm going to start talking about your homework assignments for English language arts. So year 8, year 9, year 10, pay attention to this first part because I'm going to be talking about how to use Google Classroom. Now, obviously, the first thing you need to do is get into one of your classes. I'm going to start with this year 9 class. Once you've clicked on your class, the two things that you're going to want to focus on what page you're in. The two ones that are important are the stream, which we're currently on, and the classwork page that looks like this. Uh, the stream page, what its purpose is, is to keep us in communication. So this is where I'm going to post any of my announcements. Here we have uh, Mr. Roos posting an announcement about this video. Uh, but not only is it me talking, it's also you responding to me. So any questions you have about classroom assignments or the readings or essentially any issue that you have that you want to talk to me about, you do it in the classroom comments. As you can see, there's a lot of students already uh, asking questions. I want you to do the same thing. Now, be aware, uh, though you can comment about anything, I expect that you're using this only to talk about the classroom activities, classroom assignments, or things that are school related. If, this, if you're commenting things that would be inappropriate and you're using this more like a WhatsApp group or a Snapchat uh, group conversation, then I'm going to have to mute you, which means you wouldn't be able to make a comment on anything for the rest of your time uh, while we are on lockdown. So please keep it appropriate. That's the stream. I talk to you, you talk to me, you ask any questions you have as a class comment. Now, the second thing I want you to look at is over here, there's a upcoming, and what that is is essentially a homework planner. It tells you what's due and when, so please be paying attention to the dates on that. Now, now that the stream's over, I'm gonna jump on to the year 10, that's the year 10 screen, and I'm gonna go to the year 10 classwork. Uh, the classwork page is where your assignments are all located. It'll tell you what the assignment is and when it's due. That's important. Now, I'm gonna try and keep everything neat and tidy, and so this is week one. This is Monday the 23rd to Friday, which I believe is the 27th. That's week one. The following week will be week two, and it'll be all nicely organized with a convenient title so that you know exactly what you should be doing at all times. Just use your head a little bit. Now, let's talk about the assignments. The number one thing that I want you to do is you can see kind of a preview of the assignment, but you really should be clicking view assignment when you want to start working on something. This is kind of just a preview of what's to come, but do click that view assignment button because only then are you going to see everything you need to do to be successful. Same thing, if you're doing a question, hit the view question button. Click the button to view the whole assignment because only then will it make perfect sense. Now, I've clicked the first assignment. This is for the year 10s. The link that you need is here. It's going to be very similar for the year eights. The link is going to be here. All your links should be on this right hand side if you are working from a computer. 
Now, what you'll do then is follow the link by clicking on it, and you should see a document. This is for the year 9 and 10s. So year 8s, this is not your homework. But pay attention because it's what you need to do, uh, what you need to learn. Now, with any Google Doc, the thing is you type directly onto it. So please do not get out a piece of paper. Do not get out a pencil. You're in the digital age now. This is 2020, people. Be working on a computer. Uh, for those of you who are working on your phone or working on an iPad, what's important is that you need to pause this video now and get the Google Docs app. So if you are working on an iPad or a, com or a phone, please pause this video, go to the App Store, and get Google Docs. Only then will you be able to type onto the document. If you don't have Google Docs, you won't be able to complete the homework, which is bad. So get the app. And then you can write on your document, just like I'm doing now, right onto the document. Hi, mom. Just kidding. My mom's not watching this video. She already knows how to use Google Classroom. So type onto the document. For the years uh, 8, 9, and 10, you've just got to summarize each paragraph on this right-hand column. For the years 8, again, follow the link. Click on the link. And then, once you get a question, type your answer directly onto the document. Okay, now that should explain the first assignment for both grade levels for Wednesday. Now the other thing you have to do, and let me just go back a little bit, go back a little bit, sorry. So I'm going to click on stream, I'm going to click on classwork. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's two questions. These are going to be due on Friday, but I want you to know what you're doing. For years 9 and 10, you have similarly, um, you have a similar type of assignment. So be paying attention even though we're on the year 8 page right now. You need to click on the assignment and again, click that view question. Always click view assignment or view question because that's how you're going to get all the tools you need to be successful here. Click on view question, go to type in your answer, and then you type your answer here. If you want to write your answer on maybe a Google Doc so that you have spell check because you're a terrible speller, feel free to go ahead and do that and just copy and paste it into the box. That's fine too. Uh, but if you're comfortable just typing it in this box here, go for it. Again, for this, the story is very anti-rich people. Edgar Allan Poe himself was poor most of his life, so he probably had some resentment towards the wealthy. Do you think this story is fair to rich people? Explain why or why not in two paragraphs. That's what you type in here. Just, uh, if you've read The Mask of Red Death, tell me whether you thought it was anti-rich people or not. Here, once you're done, you hit turn it in, you turn it in, and you're done. The second part of the assignment is you've got to comment on other people's. So, uh, shout out to Brynja, David, and Cameron, who've already done the work. So what I need to do is I need to respond to one of my classmates, because that's part of the assignment. I'm going to click on Cameron's assignment. I can put a smiley face to that too, because I want to be kind. Uh, so the second part of assignment is just responding to somebody else. Click that send button, and once you've responded to one other person's in each of the questions, you're done. Your eights are doing the same thing. Make sure you're responding to other people's work. Once you've done that, that should be your assignment completed, and you will be done for the whole week. All right, and that's it. Hopefully, by this point, you should have figured out how to use Google Docs and how to turn in assignments on Google Classroom. This is important because you've got work to do this week. Year eights, what you're doing, by Wednesday, you, what you need to do is read the story Cemetery Path and answer all the questions that are on the Google document. Turn that in by what, midnight on Wednesday. By Friday, what you need to do is answer the two questions, like I showed you in the video, and respond to two of your classmates' opinions by Friday. So post your answers to the question, and then respond to the comments that you disagree with or that you agree with. Just remember to be friendly to everybody. Uh, years 9 to 10, your assignment this week is similar. Uh, by Wednesday, what you need to do is read that story, Mask of Red Death, uh, and summarize it in the column to the right. And then, by Friday, what you have to do is similar to the year eights, respond to those two questions, 
and comment on two of your classmates' opinions. Once you do that, you're all done for the week. I am not planning to do homework over the weekend. The only way you would get homework, the only way you would get homework over the weekend is if you did not complete the week's assignments. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully you've learned a lot about using uh, technology to learn and you should see a video every single Monday. What my plan is, is um, I will upload all the assignments by the uh, end of the week and have a video explaining the assignments on Monday. So always keep an eye open. I think uh, by Monday you'll see everything and have everything you need to be successful here. So that's the end of week one. Uh, I hope you stay safe. I hope you're doing well at home and I wish you luck in these week's assignments. Have a nice day.